everyone welcome back to another video we're continuing with the gunbreaker quest line here in Ishgard so we're gonna see what kind of mission we have next with our new pals here so it's called of defectors and defenders Radovan and Sophie's expressions are as somber as their surroundings we Hrothgar are quite used to snow and ice so we sometimes forget the problems it poses for other races this morning, a homeless Hewn lad was found lying stone cold in the streets. When they came to take him away, he was frozen solid, like a statue. The poor thing can't have been more than twenty summers old. We asked the Temple Knights if there was something we could do, and we were told that they found the perfect assignment for us. Our client this time is Reese of Garland Ironworks. Their founder, Sid Garling, is one of the few Garlians to have turned his back on the Empire, and is a hero to many living under their rule. I wonder if I might have the honor of meeting him in person. At any rate, we must first head to the Sky Steel Manufactory. Alright, so he really wants to meet Sid. That's nice. Oh, maybe we'll run into Sid actually during this quest line. That'd be cool. It's been a while since we've seen him. When was the last time we saw him? I think it was with. Maybe Omega? Yeah, I think so. So, where is everyone? Mm, no? Oh, there they are. Right outside, didn't notice. Is it true that Sid is the one who introduced Magitek to Eorzea? Yes, it is. So this is one of Sid Garland's workshops? Well, it doesn't technically belong to him, but yeah, more or less. Good day. I take it you're the bodyguard sent by the Temple Knights? There's someone I'd like you to protect. A recently defected Garlean engineer, as it happens. I'll not bore you with the details, but he is to oversee the installation of a Cerulean heating system. We're hoping it would avert tragedies like the one that recently occurred in the Prune. Yes, we saw the body being carried away. Terrible sight it was. If this engineer friend of yours needs safe passage here, we'd be glad to help. Unfortunately, the Empire does not take kindly to desertion, especially when the man in question is one of its most highly esteemed scientists. We received word that a group known as the Alade has been dispatched to see that he never reaches Ishgard. Gods be good! I've heard of them. Prisoners offered an opportunity to reduce their sentences through loyal service to Golemald. By all accounts, they fight like men possessed, desperate to earn their freedom. Worst of all, they are led by Vetras no Maselia, a man whose cruelty knows no bounds. As a soldier, he reached the rank of Pilius Prior, but was relegated after butchering a village of innocent civilians purely to sate his own bloodlust. Even his fellow guardians were disgusted by his barbaric acts. Yet that did not to damage his reputation as a skilled warrior equal to Gaius Van Belsar himself. During my imprisonment, Virtus Quo Miselia came to enlist me. I told him I'd sooner rot in jail than serve under a rabid dog like him. As you can imagine, he was far from pleased with my refusal, and tried to persuade me by using my Magitech collar to administer countless electric shocks. I'll never forget the look in his eyes as he pushed that button over and over again. Of course, not everyone is as resilient as Radovan. Many who fight for the Alade do so against their will, though they are no less deadly for it. By the fury, if I had known the dangers involved, I would have called the whole thing off. It's too late now, though. The airship is already on its way to Coerthus. It should be arriving at the Observatorium. Sadly, we couldn't gain permission to have an Imperial craft dock in the city for matters of security. From the rendezvous point, we shall proceed the rest of the way on foot. Once we're safely inside the Gates of Judgment, we can consider the mission a success. Your friend is risking his life for the sake of others. Reese, I shall give my word that he will reach Ishgard safely. Listen, Sophie. You know as well as I do that the Aladie are as ruthless as they are tenacious. For that reason, I want you to stay behind. You think you can take them on without me there to heal you? Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful to have you by my side, but against foes like that, Claire and I will struggle to protect you and the engineer. Protect me? Look, Radovan, we protect each other, remember? Or perhaps you see me as nothing but a burden. 
fine. Have it your way. Um, not to rush you or anything, but we should get going. I'll meet you at the airship landing at top of the tower. Before we leave, there's something I'd like to make clear. I didn't mean what I said to Sophie. I think she's an excellent conjurer and more than capable of taking care of herself. But this is Vitas Comestelia we're dealing with, a monster who delights in toying with his prey. I can't let her face that kind of danger. You see, Sophie and I, we've been inseparable ever since we escaped our Garlean captors. When I discovered what had befallen my family, I came close to taking my own life. And I might have even gone through with it if Sophie hadn't stopped me. She's lost loved ones too, but has never given up hope. Sophie helped me to realize that there is still a place in this world for me. In fact, it was with her idea that I became a bodyguard. Although no one will ever replace the family I lost, she helped fill that void in my life and gave me a reason to carry on. Ha! If she were here now, she would tell me to stop being such a sentimental old fool or words to that effect. Anyway, the sooner we finish this assignment, the sooner I can get back here and apologize to her. Oh, that's sweet. I knew he cared about Sophie. They had that kind of niece and uncle kind of relationship, if you ask me. Almost like a surrogate father and daughter. Not exactly, but very close to that. Wow, it's been a long time since we went back to the Highlands. Oh, it's going to be so nice to see it again. I try to avoid it because every time I go through here, it, it just reminds me of the good times, you know. But we'll just head down south. So we're going to be meeting yet another de facto from Garlemald. You know, is it me or are we getting a lot of those lately? Like at this rate, Garlemald probably won't have anyone left, especially with all the infighting that's going on right now. And you know what? I really, really do hope we get to see Radovan and Sophie again. Uh, when the expansion of 6.0 comes out. I mean, I know it's going to come out sooner or later. Sooner or later, we're all going to be going to Gollumall. And I do think he would be really good to have around. Like, he'll be able to show us everything about what's happening here and help explain, like, a lot of the troubles and dangers that the provinces are going through. So I do think that both of them would be a really good addition to the game. So get on that Square Enix. I get the impression they've been waiting for us. Perhaps I spoke over long. Now that you're here, allow me to introduce the man you'll be escorting. Kato Nan Mamula at your service. Or should it be Kato Mamula now that I am in Ishgard? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Ahem. <clears throat> Master Mamula is carrying documents liberated from the Empire that can prove vital in Guardian Ironworks' investigation of Omega. This may lead to an increased likelihood of encountering Imperial pursuers, however. Well then, shall we begin? Sure thing. Oh no. I don't like that. You saw the look on Radovan's face, right? He definitely knew who that was. Anyway, it's gonna take too long to just walk down the stairs, so we'll just jump. Wish we could do that in real life, but... Oh, uh, that pesky reality. We would get hurt that way. 
But why would they be looking more into the investigation of Omega? Omega's already been dealt with. Whoa! You okay? That's the way. Give them what for! They found us! The Alade knew we were coming. Hells, Bells, they must have seen that airship from Mom's away. I'll stay with the engineer. You go on ahead and draw them out. We'll rendezvous at the camp to the north. Okay! Oh, well, I'll go on ahead. So I don't think he'll do anything with Reese there. But he definitely knew who that was, and there's definitely something there. Like, he definitely was not a happy camper. This one's mine! Yeah, yeah. Sure I am, but... So that wasn't too tough. We'll just move on ahead. So there's three posts that we have to inspect. Shouldn't be tough. Famous last words. First the gods, then the targets. far not so bad okay so we're almost there we can do it a little bit longer especially once we take care of this last spot this is as far you go All three down! So we rendezvous inside of Camp Dragonhead. Oh. Now let's see if they've caught up. Some of the Aladii stayed in their hiding places until you pass. One of them got to Reese. He's hurt, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm sorry. They caught me by surprise. 
You made it this far, but Vitus is still out there. If this is just a taste of what the Aladie have in store for us, our best option is to avoid confrontation altogether. Mamula and I will sneak past them while you and Reese stay behind. The two of us stand a better chance than a group of four. Hmm, that's suspicious. Yes, we should stick together. I know how you feel, but sometimes discretion is the better parts of valor. You see the sense in this, don't you? Okay. Well, the meat's back in Ishgard. My colleagues will contact me via Link Pearl once Master Mamula has arrived in Ishgard. In the meantime, we should lay low. We don't want to alert the Aladie to our presence any more than we already have. Oh, and I better get these wounds locked up. Thank goodness you're all right. You've been gone so long, I came looking for you. I met a few nasty characters on the way here, but I soon sent them packing. Wait, where's Radovan? And that engineer you're supposed to be escorting. You mean he's not in Ishgard yet? Kato Namamula? You know him? If the two of them are together, then... Radovan never talks to anyone about it, but he comes from a place called Boja Citadel. It was utterly destroyed in a Garland experiment gone wrong. In charge of the project were Midias Nan Garland and his right-hand man Kato Nan Mamula. Radovan's opposition to Boja being used as a testing ground for potentially dangerous Magitech led to his imprisonment, and his fears were proved correct when the city was obliterated. There's a strong chance that he's planning to exact his revenge. Oh no. We have to stop him. They headed west towards Ishgard, yes? We should be able to follow their tracks. There's no time to lose. Okay, I did not see that coming. I knew that Radovan had some kind of history here with him, but not like that. I mean, that's like ancient history there. Uh, if I remember the lore correctly, uh, the Citadel was, yeah, it was definitely like this huge uh, city that was destroyed like during a project that was kind of experimenting with like the Meteor Project, I think. And well, it was because of that that Sid ended up leaving because of everything that his father was responsible for. Because yeah, his father was responsible for that whole project and it just sort of blew up in his face quite literally and that was really what led to Sid actually kind of abandoning like his whole position in Golemal and just sort of took off for Eorzea where he wouldn't have to think about using Magitech for war because he's a pacifist he doesn't like violence or anything like that which I respect out of the man And so, like, that's why the whole idea of him trying to come up with a machine to actually counter against Omega was so tough for him because, yeah, because I think he's just uh, terrified of being like his father and repeating the same mistakes. You can't really blame him for that. For my homeland. For my family. Boja. Claire? Claire? 
Stay back. This fiend robbed me of everything I held dear. Don't deny me my vengeance. You swore to protect him. I will not beg your forgiveness. However, I ask that you hear my final words. But as and I knew that there were risks involved with the experiment, but we did not foresee that it could fail so catastrophically. I lived with unending, agonizing guilt ever since. From that day forth, I have sought redemption, a chance to somehow right the wrongs I have committed. That is why I asked Medas' son, Sid, to aid in my defection from Golemald, that my knowledge and expertise may be put to good use. But I always knew that the sins of my past would return to haunt me. I submit myself to your judgment. Does the word of a gunbreaker mean nothing? What have I become? My honor as a gunbreaker, as a man, I've thrown it all away. You are the last of us now. You want us to kill him now, sir? No, the old goat can wait. It's the prowling lion I want. Yes, your head will make a fine trophy. I don't like the sound of that. Is Mamula alright? And where's Radovan? He left. Wandered off? But we still got a job to do! And I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't stopped him. Come on, Claire. With or without Radovan, we still have a job to do. Let's get Mamula to Ishgard. Oh man, he looks so sad. Alright, but I think we're just about nearing the end of this quest here. Oh boy, that was that was rough. That was really rough. I felt so bad. I felt bad for both of them. I shall not squander the second chance at life. You have my eternal gratitude. I noticed that Radovan acted rather strangely when he first met Master Mamula, but I had no idea he tried to kill him. Thank goodness for you and Sophie. After the trouble you had reached in Camp Dragonhead, I'm pleasantly surprised that the Aladie kept away from us for the remainder of the journey. Yes, fortunate indeed. All's well that ends well, as the saying goes. One thing still troubles me, though. If that Vidas Kyo Melessa is as ruthless as you say, I doubt the walls of Ishgar will deter him from pursuing his target. 
As such, Master Mamula will be closely guarded until we can be certain it's safe. Yes, it would be a shame if I were kept from fulfilling my obligations. I hope that the next time we meet, I shall have glad tidings to share. We managed to get Mamula out here unharmed, but in doing so, we've lost sight of Rolavan. He could be anywhere by now. But we've been through too much for me to turn my back on him now. If he decides to get his act together, he knows where to find me. Until then, we better be on the lookout for the Aladier. I doubt we've seen the last of them. Okay, so that's it for now. So the last quest is called Steal Against Steal. Sophie's beginning to wonder if Rodovan will ever come back. Okay, well, that's it for now. I hope everyone's looking forward to the next quest. I know I am. So until next time, everyone, be careful out there.